I'm gonna go over some points on the next generation cleaner. Hoover Nugent is now owned by Hayward. The great thing about this cleaner is that it'll never get stuck in the steps or corners of your pool. So every 12 or 14 feet, the cleaner will turn itself without getting out of corners in the step area of the pool. See it turning right now. So this cleaner will never get stuck anywhere in your pool. Before the cleaner was sold to Hayward, the owner did some modifications to the cleaner. You see the bottom now has these lifts here. Here's an old version, you can see that it's flat across. So these lifts help it from getting stuck on the anti-vortex main drains and also on the step area of the pool. But due to this modification, I think maybe the added weight has affected the cleaner's climbing ability. But there is a solution to get the cleaner climbing again without having it at 18 RPMs. Okay, so the modification that you can do is that the mouth of the cleaner actually comes out. So they sell various sizes here. They have a large mouth, which will increase the suction of the cleaner. They have a small mouth for a small head pump. You don't have a lot of flow. But by putting the large opening on the cleaner, will give it the wall climbing ability again. So simply push these two tabs, and you can pull up the other mouth. And it goes in one way. You'll see the writing have the size on here. This is the large one. It goes in this way here. It clips right in. So by changing the mouth of the cleaner, taking out the medium one, putting the large one in, the cleaner will climb the walls again. And here it comes up the wall. Let's see how it goes. It's got to hit the wall at a good angle for it to kind of get up, regardless of the opening of the mouth. You see it climbing here. He's getting up the wall really well. Put it in the way there. Just come up almost to the surface and turn around right near the top. But by changing that mouth, solve the problem. You might breach the surface on this turn here. Up below the arc comes down a little bit. Another modification is that the skirts on the bottom have thicker plastic holding them on. So they're not going to break off in the pool if they hit an object. So with the new version, you would just push down on these tabs here, pull out the mouth, and you would just simply slide. See how they slide right out real easily. And they slide back in. So that's a good modification to the cleaner right there. I'm going to put the large mouth back on. One more change to the cleaner is also on the wheels itself. I'll take it off so you can see the difference here. Get a screwdriver and pop this off. Here's the hubcap holding the new one on. This is a new version here. You pull that out, and you'll notice inside here is a ball bearing, similar to what you see in a lot of the other cleaners out there. Looks like this here, and you can see that it goes flush against the plastic piece here inside here. So that's one of the modifications. I'll show you why they did that right now. Put the hubcap back on. And you'll see why they did this modification. I'll go over that for you right now. Why he switched it to a bearing. So what they did is they put the metal inside the plastic here. What happens if the wheel starts to get out of balance, the metal inside here will strip out and the wheel will fall off. So that's why they did the other modification. So it goes in the shallow end. It's coming up this wall pretty good. So by changing that mouth to the large size, it fixes the problem with it not getting up the wall.